morning guys. Today is another day of us visiting this amazing community called Damanha. And we've been brought to another part of the community. This is a house um, in a different village and we're getting a little tour and learning a little bit more about what they're doing and how they're doing it. This house has been completely thought of to be built really according to use as little energy as possible. Yeah. Is this whole house powered by the solar panels? Yes. Yeah. It, has, it creates almost more energy than it needs. But we will see, it has many, many systems that are combined, and that's really its strength. Wow. Check this, underfloor heating. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. So it's a half moon, and the whole, the whole inner part is exposed to the south, and the outer part is exposed to the north. Wow, 40 kilowatt of solar panels. That is serious. Guys, check out the mountains. The whole place has been like bespoke design to save as much energy and to create as much energy as possible. Like a fully sustainable eco house. I have a feeling that most houses in the future are going to be built like this. They're packing heat in here. We are in the control room. This is the most high tech house I've ever been in. Just the, the things that this place does blows my mind. These are like high tech computers that sense when certain temperatures are needed in the house so it doesn't waste energy, it pumps things up. This is like a very sophisticated water heating system that kind of runs through it, hot water, and then heats the cold water really quickly. And, uh, and also, check over here, this is the air filtration system. And this is all the dirt that's been filtered out the air from outside. So the whole house has really clean air. So it's part of their beliefs here in Dam and Her. They have this spiritual instrument they keep in the house. Everyone gather around. So does it like harness energy? Is that what it does? It harnesses the energy? Yes, it harnesses the energy. That right there. Universal energy, yeah. It can be used in order to harmonize a group. It can be used for, um, for um, protection for certain things. It can be used for um, the contact with the, with, the, with the plants. It can be used for, for many, many, many things so that it, it really has an infinity of different applications. Is it like a spiritual computer terminal? Yeah. And it's like it's connecting like into the Wi-Fi? Terminal, exactly. Here you can program yourself. You can activate it, actually. There's like a path, too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wait, so it's like a keyboard? It's like a keyboard. It's like a keyboard on the oh, spiritual okay. computer yeah. terminal. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm learning a lot of new things on this trip. I didn't really understand any of the um, the belief system around the self and harnessing cosmic energy. But the last couple of days I've been learning about the beliefs here. Uh, yeah, still can't quite wrap my head around it. We've arrived at a new location now. This is just down the road from where we were. I think maybe there's a farm here. Okay, we're going into one of the greenhouses. We found out that this farm provides for half of the year provides all of the food for Dum and her. But then in the winter and spring it's difficult because it's hard to grow stuff. But listen, they're playing classical music to the plants. On these kind of plants that stay here for not so long, the mu the, you don't see so much the effect of classical music. But you will really see it on tomatoes or eggplants because they stay longer on the plant. <laughs> I want to learn more about the bees. Oh, we're going to meet a, the beekeeper at lunch. Oh, good. So, I know honey technically isn't vegan because it's made from animals, but we're going to learn a little bit from the beekeepers today about how they collect honey in an ethical way. So I think there's like really damaging ways to keep bees and collect honey, but I don't know, maybe there's, maybe there's good ways to do it without harming them. I still think my favorite thing about the farm so far is that they're playing music to the plants. That is just awesome. Well, we've just come to another area of the farm where we're gonna meet some animals. I'm super excited to meet the farm animals. 
Yay! Hello, 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 hello. Hey, donkey. Hey, donkey. Donkey, you want an apple? Don't tell anyone. You want an apple? Is this yummy? <laughs> oh, I got donkey drool on my hand. This is a cute donkey here. It's a baby donkey. This dog over here, he's not usually on a chain, but they just put him on a chain because he can get a little bit bitey around new people and guests and stuff. But he was whining because, well, hey, because he was being left out. So I came over. <laughs> I came over to keep him company. <laughs> Guys, I, I, had, I was a little bit sidetracked with the dogs. I didn't even really get to meet the cows properly, but those dogs were awesome. Right, lunch is served. Look at that. All homegrown from Dum and Her. Is it all grown, homegrown from Dum and Her? Apart from the chickpeas and the rice. We have just finished up a delicious lunch. And now we are going to be continuing to learn some things about the Damaherians. We've just found out something pretty cool. It's that there's an ancient language that they've learned, and one of the ways to speak the language is through um, dance form. Can you show us love again? This is the dance move for love. So wait, what's Live the Adventure? <laughs> That's Live the Adventure in dance form. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Bro, how crazy is this place, man? Well, it's probably one of the most uniquest places I've ever been in my whole life, but I'm just so um, stuck on the time travel thing Yeah. that it's just ruining my whole life. Is it? Yeah, because I'm so curious about trying to uncover their secrets that I just can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. But the food here is super good and they're all like eco-friendly and I really like that a lot. That is good. And if you don't know what Josh is talking about and you haven't seen our videos from the last couple of days, this isn't the only aspect of Dumb and Hare. This is like more of the practical farming eco stuff. But yesterday we went on a very interesting spiritual <laughs> discovery journey and we're going to continue a bit of that as well. I think we're going to do some art now. I think we're going to learn how to do art. We've arrived to the art room. Ah. Oh. Made myself a coffee. Josh is raring and ready to go, aren't you, Josh? Dude, I, she, she literally dragged me out of bed. <laughs> I was literally sleeping no, and she's you like, you gotta to take off. <laughs> we were okay, having a yeah, siesta. Ready, we were really okay. ready to have a little nap, but you know, we can do this instead. It looks like a mix between yoga and pottery. <laughs> I'm gonna call it yottery. camera has got so much clay on it. No. Okay. Right, it's time for show and tell. Right, we have written on these bits of paper um, words that come to mind when we look at each other's sculptures. And now, I don't know what we're doing, but it involves paint. So I've got my palette of colours, and uh, we are painting representations of these words that we've come up with for an ideal community. Wait, did we put coffee? Hmm? There's no coffee. What? Oh, how did we miss coffee? We 
If we've got good wine, we need coffee. Oh, let's see coffee. Guys, what do you think of my treehouse community? We're almost finished. Our amazing mural of what represents community. Lots of tree houses here. Thousand megabytes a second in Wi-Fi internet, obviously. Hammocks, campfires, lots of fruit and vegetables and friends and puppy and love and coffee and freaky cats. This is this is awesome. Found a spot for my dragon facing the community, the treehouse community. It's a big community, look. Three of us did tree houses in a row. Well, it's the end of another amazing day. I feel very inspired, especially from visiting the sustainable house. I'm very interested about steps I can take in my own life and as a human race to um, you know, think of ways to use energy better. And travel and transport is another one which hopefully we can explore together as a community. The art time we had as well was really exciting that we could just be so creative. I don't often tap into the pure creative part of me. Um, I feel like I am artistic and I do love kind of creating, whether it is the dragon sculpture or the painting or whatever, but I just don't often kind of get a chance to do that, so that was really cool. And it was cool as well that me, Ryan and Kristen all drew the tree houses when we were asked to, you know, paint what we, what was most important about community. Um, and it's, yeah, it's exciting to think that one day that we will have a community, probably not the size of Dam and Her, we probably won't have the same belief systems, but there's something in, in a collective, um, communal living that I, I'm really attracted to, so, um, yeah, lots to think about, lots to take in, and hopefully it's been an interesting for you guys. Tomorrow we're going to continue on our quest to learn about Dam and Her and uh, all of the uh, fascinating things about this place. So I will catch you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.